yeah, it's a very complicated and <laughs> strange process, this moving process. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. I did too. And I woke up today and ah, glorious morning because it is currently Saturday. Not sure when you guys are going to get to see this, but it's Saturday, which means our move to the Mabu High Squad farmhouse officially begins. So behind me, you can see a ton of boxes. Guys, this is like 1% of the things that need to be moved in. We've already moved um, several boxes, stuff for Ants Canada already inside the house. Um, if you're just joining us, so four years ago, my partner RJ and I bought a farm property and decided to build a house <laughs> and guys it's been a long journey and finally we're moving into this house we call it the Mabu High Squad farmhouse and all of you subscribers Mabu High Squad you guys know you guys know the struggles well kind of but I mean you guys have been as patient as us um, and guys it's finally happening so we're moving in starting today but uh, in terms of where we're gonna sleep, details like that, our strategy for moving in because it's not just like, okay guys, let's go into the bedroom and let's sleep in the bedroom tonight. Yay, we're moved into our new house. No, <laughs> there's a strategy guys that's gonna happen because we've got dogs, we've got like furniture, um, stuff from my condo in Manila, stuff from our rental home in Tagaytay. So like, this is gonna be like a phase of moving in. <laughs> And it takes me back to when I was a kid moving into our family house in Toronto. I'm like, yay, we're going to our new house. But I remember back now, this was in 1989, like it was a mix of like living, sleeping there, going back to the old house, sleeping there. And I think it'll kind of be the same. So I'm gonna let you guys know what our exact strategy is for moving in later in this video. But meanwhile, let's have some coffee and check out all the updates at the new house all right guys here we are sweet so um i think today yeah they removed all the stickers from the window frames the protective like tape that was over those areas they're gonna start to really refine now let's go inside yes but wait before we go inside this is one thing i wanted to show you guys so when the house is complete they are going to truly go through every square inch of the house and make refinements like see how there's like paint here that is there basically you know when they were doing the first coat there's gonna be a second coat that's gonna cover the entire house of paint um, but that's already when we're moved in and that's kind of the last stage but they will go throughout the house and like clean up all of these imperfections um, you know like any kind of messed up paint or grout that aren't perfect things like that scrape scratches they'll fix all of that throughout the entire home here we are yes so this is our side entrance coming from the parking lot and there is our front door uh, this is our floor to ceiling mirror of course that's gonna stay wrapped up until we're finally moved in and the work all the work is done so the the first floor, it, they're working on it, but it's not the priority at the moment. Most of the workers are working up on the second floor trying to finish everything because that's where we're going to move in first. Um, there's the aviary, of course. You saw all of this. The first floor is tiled. They still need to grow. What is that? That's big. Oh, is that a fridge? It says Gorenye, which is the brand of kitchen appliances that we went with. Ah, uh, okay, so that's the fridge, guys. This is our mini fridge, which is going up in the pantry of our uh, master bedroom. So they're pulling it out now, they're going to install it. Let's go upstairs. All right, guys, here we are in the master bedroom. They are busy working to finish several things. So the gold mirrors, you guys saw that in a previous vlog. They're installing that today. Here, they're adding the electrical outlets to our display wall here. Uh, so I can plug in any rotary fans, uh, lights, heat lamps, uh, automatic irrigation in case we decide to keep an animal inside this uh, wall divider. You saw that in a previous vlog. They are 
also working on finalizing our jacuzzi. See, they've built the structure and they're gonna put panels over here. See that? Oh, wow, guys. So here is the pantry of our master uh, bedroom. So we have shelving here. I believe there will be shelving up there. RJ, is there shelving up here? Yeah, so they're shelving up there as well. Um, there's the sink, which they're installing now. See that? And then, um, yeah, so this is basically going to act as our kitchen, our little kitchenette um, for our master bedroom. And this is where the fridge will go, the fridge that you saw downstairs. All right, so they finished skim coating the um, marble wall, which you saw in yesterday's vlog. And um, they're just gonna paint it for now, the same charcoal color of the pillars. It'll go all the way across. But we do have a plan for this wall here. But that will have to follow. That will take a while. And we wanna move in, so we're okay to just paint this charcoal gray for now. Whoa, all right. I can't wait for you guys to see this fridge. It's kind of like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a beautiful vintage fridge. You'll see. Ooh, guys, we are excited. They're opening it now. I'm, I'm feeling giddy. Guys, they're opening it now, ready for the big reveal. Here we go. Check it out. Oh, do you like it? Of course, guys, see it? We don't wanna unwrap it yet, but basically it's this like vintage looking fridge with a Volkswagen logo on it. Was there, is this from Volkswagen? Maybe. It's, 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 but the it's, brand is called I mean, yeah, the, the brand is called Gorenje, but yeah, it's have, like, they have partnered with it. Ah, uh, they partnered with Volkswagen. All right. So it's like an old style fridge. You see that? We thought it would look really cool in our pantry. So see the amount of planning involved? We had to measure the space in this pantry even before it was built. We had to know all the dimensions of this fridge, which we bought last year. Um, we had to coordinate with the uh, modular team to make sure they built the perfectly spaced cove for the fridge. So like, it really was just a lot of planning involved since last year and not just like ordering a bunch of things and just sticking it together and hoping it all works. No, we really had to do the math. And I say we, but it's really he. <laughs> Cause I don't like math, I don't like measurements, nothing like that. And RJ is really good with the details and he loves doing that stuff. All right, so they're cleaning up the floors now of the guest bedrooms. This here is the, well, it's the yellow room. <laughs> they're cleaning and polishing off all the dust in the bathrooms. So everything will be ready for use when we move in. They are repainting um, the green room and other areas of the home uh, that need retouching. You guys saw in our last vlog, these awesome wood carvings. Um, these wood carvings are actually going to be mounted on our foundational pillars. So all of these like, big um, columns will have these wooden carvings. They've been treated um, and they've been painted and I think it'll add a beautiful like, it'll just add character and detail to the home because right now um, it's kind of, I don't know how to say it. it. Without this, it lacks that organic character, I suppose. When we started building our home, the concept for interior design was modern Asian luxe. And so we have a lot of modern elements out there. We have um, luxe elements out there, right? All the gold furnishings and stuff. Um, but we lacked some of the Asian stuff, which we could also add with decor, right? Um, various little stuff we could add on tabletops, our choice of fabrics. But we also wanted to add these just to give it that Asian feel um, and like this here is very reminiscent of 
Southeast Asia. So we like it. It gives it a little bit of character and organic feel, I suppose. All right, so they've installed the LED into the coves uh, for our cove lighting. That's sweet. Oh, I realized I never showed you this here. This here is our linen room. So we'll put all our blankets, pillows, possible like um, towels, that kind of thing. That all goes here. Beddings, um, toilet paper maybe, I don't know. Um, all that kind of stuff, bed runners, can go here in this storage. Um, and we have more storage space as well in other parts of the home. It's attached to our walk-in closet as well. Of course, you guys saw our walk-in closet in um, a previous vlog. It's actually a closet room. I keep calling it walk-in closet. It's a closet room. Um, Modular did a great job at uh, constructing it. There's, there's still work to be done. So they'll be building a floor-to-ceiling like shelving unit, both all of here and all of there for shoes. Um, and that, of course, is our closet room bathroom. You saw that in the last vlog. <laughs> Guys, look, there's Billy. Hey, Billy. This is our goat, and he just eats all plants. Anywhere you put him, he'll eat the plants in that area. We don't need a lawnmower. We don't need a lawnmower or anything like that. Billy will just take care of everything, and his poop will go on to um, recycle the nutrients and nourish the soil. Can you imagine being Billy? Like, he was supposed to be someone's food. <laughs> He's so spoiled, this one. He can just eat all day, that's all he does. We're planning on also getting him a girlfriend. Just so we could have little Billies running around as well. Ooh, guys, I'm liking the look of those gold mirrors. That's awesome. So we plan on having furniture here, so um, a couch will go here this L-shaped couch that we bought. There'll also be a piece of furniture here, like a little coffee table here. You guys will see. Again, we've been planning this since last year. And it's pretty amazing, guys, to see it all just come together gradually. RJ and I are just hanging out here in the closet room. Do you like what they've done? I wonder what we're gonna keep in there. I'm guessing like watches and like stuff, random stuff in this unit here. So there will be a curtain here, an automatic curtain, and that should be arriving soon. I think in a couple of days. So they are cladding the jacuzzi now. And this cladding is made to match that cladding up there. It's perfect, perfect match. So this here is built so that when we step off um, and we have like wet feet, the water will drip through and down a drain way down there. So it doesn't just stick around and keep the floor wet. And then our, and then our idea was from the jacuzzi, we can go straight into the master bathroom and shower. So now the team is um, trying to figure out the orientation of this lighting installment which will go over the bed um, we have like a render a perspective render of what it should look like once it's installed so they're just discussing now the details of um, this light fixture here it actually comes in three pieces and you can arrange it in several ways but there's a specific way that um, RJ and Kathy want it like arranged all right guys so this here is the marble slab that got cut off the side of our slab in our master bedroom headboard wall so they gave us the extra piece and we don't know what to do with this extra piece um i think what we might do was rj was mentioning we might cut it up and make them into like coffee tables um because it's a beautiful piece of stone you guys saw that vlog where we actually chose this. This is, it's Patagonia, and you can't really appreciate it right now because it's really dusty, but it's such a beautiful and complex marble with different flecks in it. Um, Patagonia is, based on my research, it's, Patagonia is farmed, first of all, from Brazil, and it was created around 90 million years ago uh, through volcanic activity. So like all the magma and like lava brings all of these like micas, feldspar, quartz up to the surface where this is farmed. And it creates this awesome 
awesome design. Like this is just, this is nothing. There are so many different possible Patagonia marble designs, but this was the one we chose. And it's just got little flecks of like gorgeous black. There's white, there's the quartz crystal part um, and little flecks of gold as well. You'll find like gold shiny flecks. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, and yeah, like this would be a waste if we didn't use it for something. So we could turn it into a console table. Mabuhai squad, what do you think? What would you use this slab of marble for? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, it's lunch time for everyone, including the workers. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. <gasps> Ooh, guys, we're eating. Yeah. I, I've packed lunch. I've asked our Ate LC to pack food because yes, we gotta eat healthy all the time. So today on the menu, we have whole wheat pasta with chicken breast, obviously tomato sauce, onions, mm, and two fat pieces of salmon. Here, Beh, we have to share this. Healthy food, it's about healthy living, guys. Um, in terms of food choices, there is this awesome supermarket just nearby. Um, and there's like a food area where they cook for you. Like, there's so much, so many things on the menu, burgers, they have chicken, and they have Filipino food. What? Guys, RJ says they closed down. Okay, so <laughs> where are the restaurants? Just kidding. Anyways, we will cook eventually for ourselves. Um, and for sure, there's like delivery here. Um, so we're not afraid, but yes. Eating healthy anyways is the best. That's all? Eating healthy is the best. Home cooked meals, healthy, healthy, healthy. In terms of a gym, there is a gym in a mall nearby. Um, I think it's like a 15 minute drive. So that will be my new gym, guys. Yay, I can't wait. I personally haven't gone to the gym in like a week um, because we've been so busy with the house and like moving and stuff. And so like my gym stuff will have to wait for now till like we figure out this move. It's okay, it's okay to give your body a break from working out. It's good for your muscles. They actually suggest every 11 weeks you should like give yourself a, a one week break from like lifting. And anyways, I'm not competing. I'm not a professional bodybuilder or an athlete or anything. So I don't need to absolutely be at the gym all the time. Mm. All right, it looks like more materials for the modular has arrived. So I believe this is shelving for the um, shoe rack, our shoe closet part of the closet room. Wow, guys, the pantry. All right, so it looks like all the cupboards, well, the main structure of the cupboards anyway, are, um, is uh, fixed now all the way to the top and all around the sides. And then the fridge will be going in here. It's still here. Um, they still have to finish adding, um, you know, the little doors and stuff. But it does seem that all the basics are in place here now at the in master bedroom and I mean there's some lights that need to go up but the basics are here. Ooh, awesome. This um, removable shower head installed although we'll probably be using this. But that's cool. We have toilet paper um, dispenser. Sweet. However, the toilet bowl here is one of those Japanese toilet bowls and it can wash your butt when you're done your business. <laughs> All right, we have outlets. These mirrors have been here for a while. I'm loving those up there. Sinks are all ready. Guys, we'll miss living with you. <laughs> but anyways, they're gonna be coming over. I hope you guys come over often. Yeah, we're really sad. Oops, no. Um, and then also sad that we have to separate the dogs. So Coco and Miranda belong to Edmark and Nika. Bye, Cokes. We're gonna Bye, miss Cokes. you. Sahara's really gonna miss you. No. Hey. But you guys are coming over to hang out and party all the time, right? Didn't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and our dogs will also miss you guys too. And guys, look, look at all the look at all the boxes. We're getting ready to go. What's up, Mumbo High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, we're here at the condo, <laughs> packing. Look at all the mess. 
RJ is thorough at going through all this stuff. And guys, you know what I realized? We accumulated a lot of junk. <laughs> we're boxing things now. See, things that we're gonna bring to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. I'm just in awe at how much stuff, not only junk, but like valuable stuff, but stuff in general that we have accumulated during the, what, almost 10 years that we've lived here in the condo. For those of you who are new, this is my condo where RJ and I have lived for, well, since we've been dating. <laughs> So RJ and I were neighbors at another building and then eventually I got this place and we moved in together here. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> and what's this doing here? Guys, this, these are my headshots from when I was a kid. You're Pogi there. I what do you mean I'm Pogi there? <laughs> Just there? Yeah, no, these were my headshots as a kid. I used to do a lot of modeling and acting when I was young. And I'm still acting. <laughs> in commercials nowadays uh but yeah uh so as you can see lots of random thingamabobs that we've accumulated some we're gonna throw away some we're gonna pack some we're gonna bring to the uh mabuhai squad farmhouse a lot of gifts guys that you've given us over the years we've kept like richard mabuhai squad richard of course we're bringing these to the farm yes mabuhai squad richard is very popular on our channel he always sends these amazing gifts um we've just got tons of stuff like apples to apples we haven't even opened it it's a game yeah and like dog stuff we have to bring look art we have lots of art this was sent to me by one of you mabuhai squad look at how talented you guys are that really legit looks like me um and it's all like pencil colored sketch so yeah, we got lots of stuff that we want to bring, but it's really also a trip down memory lane. But yeah, this entire move has just blown my mind as to how much stuff we actually have because you don't actually see or like know in your mind how much you have till you have to move and pack. As for me, I don't want to be a hoarder. So RJ and I are always giving things away. We're donating things, throwing things we don't need away. Um, and keeping things that obviously mean a lot to us because I don't want to be a hoarder. <laughs> I have this thing about hoarding, hoarding pets, hoarding random things. I grew up with someone who was, you know, a hoarder, not so much anymore, but before. And so like, I don't want that to happen, especially at our new farmhouse. I don't want any of the rooms that aren't meant for storage to become packed with like random things and become a storage room when it's not supposed to be a storage room. Don't want any, any of that. So we're trying to carefully sort through all our stuff today. Mm -hmm. Last night we slept in Tagaytay our rental home for another night um just because we wanted the workers to finish more of the house and uh yeah as to, as to where we're sleeping tonight still going to decide mm -hmm. we also have to decide what like pet equipment will be staying here and what's coming um because as you know i have a legit pet room now um, so like I could bring all fish tank filters and stuff. I could even bring this massive aquarium if I wanted, but I think we're gonna keep this here for now. We can always come back and get it for a second round or in the future. This here, all our wine glasses and shot glasses that brought us so much inebriated joy through the years. <laughs> See, cocktail shakers. I think this might stay here because of course, RJ has already ordered a bunch of like glasses and stuff um, that he can't wait to unpack and we'll be going into our pantry room um, or China room in the new house. But I think he wants to keep these just here. We've been getting a lot of inquiries for this place, asking us if it's still for sale, you know, how much we're selling it for. And um, at first we wanted to sell it uh, because if ever I need to be in Manila, my mom and I have a condo in another place in Metro Manila called Taguig. Uh, so we have that place and it's really nice that, that condo too. I've taken you there a couple of times. So we were gonna put this place up for sale and then we're like, you know what, RJ, no, we miss living here, so many memories. So we're like, let's just keep this. And then we started getting inquiries again about this place and so I think we're gonna make this place available for sale again. So if you guys are interested, just email me 
MikeyJBustos at gmail.com. Um, and I'll forward all your inquiries to um, the one who's handling this place. And, and I hope it possibly gives one of you, Mabuhai Squad, all the great energy, positive vibes, good luck, um, and a loving home, which it's provided RJ and I with for all these years. Uh, we, I love this place so much. It's just got great energy, a lot of good memories in between these walls. And so yeah, I'm hoping it uh, provides you guys the same amount of abundance, love, and space uh, to make memories. Mm -hmm. Guys, RJ's working his magic. He's decorating because we're gonna take a picture uh, for putting online when we make this place available for sale. Cool, love it. I love this place. It is sad, like the idea of having to say goodbye to this condo is sad. RJ and I will be so sad, especially RJ. RJ has an attachment to things. But we also recognize that it's good to let things go, like appreciate in your heart something that you had and then when it's time let it go and you know make room for the new so you know we're okay with that too and just the thought of this place our place providing someone else a home makes my heart full too and whoever gets this place we're actually hoping it's one of you mabuhai squad <laughs> because we we know that you guys would love this place as much as we did just because like you guys tend to be the same kind of people we are. So yeah, hoping this becomes a home for one of you. So you guys know Kathy, right? Kathy C. King, our interior designer for the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Well, she was actually the one who interior designed my place twice. Well, I had my place renovated twice and redesigned twice. Um, and this suede wall was actually her choice. And it's one of the things that made me realize how talented Kathy was because when she told me that we would have a leather wall or like a suede wall, whatever this is, I was like, are you sure? Like leather should be on couches and stuff, but like she was the pro, I trusted her. And then when they installed this feature leather wall, I'm like, this is brilliant, I love it. Great idea. Um, so yeah, um, Kathy also chose these curtains, everything. Um, this leather uh, viewing deck, uh, the color of the walls. Now that feature wall over there, really bright and vivid. It never used to be that color. The first time around, it was just beige because we were going for the like neutral beige look with like nature. Um, and then for the second renovation, I'm like, Kathy, I need energy. I need creativity. So we chose a more energetic wall, energetic pillows, energetic uh, curtains. These lights here were also chosen by Kathy. I'm like, what a cool decision. Super cool. And it's honestly an honor that Kathy is the one to interior design our place along with RJ. It's just so cool. Okay, RJ's gonna take the picture now. Should I model? No. I? All right, guys. So, turns out now we're going to bring all this stuff back to Tagaytay because we're going to sleep there tonight. Not going to sleep at the farm just yet, um, but we are going to sleep at the farmhouse very soon. Um, we also have certain strategies as to how the move will work, especially with the dogs, and that will be coming up in tomorrow's vlog. Yes. Yeah, it's a very complicated and <laughs> strange process, this moving process, and we're like the plans are changing like last minute. We're making last minute decisions based on the progress at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse and what we feel is best. But guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It's so long now. We love you and thanks for bearing with us through all of this. We're gonna be at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse very soon. And uh, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai Squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. See ya. Be, say bye. Bye, buku pai. <laughs> bye. Mm.